This place was built between 1895 and 1897, and it certainly looks as though it might have been. Although nobody makes buildings quite like this anymore. The architect hired by Charles Yerkes, who paid for everything, a notorious Chicago robber baron was Charles Tyson Yerkes. The architect had done many buildings in Chicago, including the University of Chicago. And surrounding me is a style known as Beaux-Arts. We can't help but think when we look around, especially at the heads of fawns, satyrs, or satyrs with either handlebar mustaches or straight mustaches and owls in between, that they might possibly be deliberate caricatures of Charles Tyson Yerkes. Yerkes was not appreciated in Chicago, but he ended up doing some very important transportation work there, such as the elevated trains. The interior is done in cast plaster, the exterior done in flower pot material known as terracotta by a firm in Crystal Lake, Illinois, who brought it up here via the old train which used to make it from Chicago to here in about two hours. Total cost of everything, about a half a million dollars. Outside, you'll find just as much detail done in cast terracotta instead of plaster. Uh, we have all the signs of the zodiac outside. We have many designs we don't fully understand. It is a gorgeous building with at least five images signifying the closest star to planet Earth, our own sun, including one directly overhead. We have an oculus which consists of an image of the sun. We talk as I say during tours, that last 50 minutes or so, uh, about the architecture, a little bit about the history, and the tour generally ends with a look at, but not through, the biggest lens telescope ever made.